In military combat, what is most difficult is turning adversity into advantage. Understand that, Amanda? No. This is The Art of War by Sun Tzu. He was a Chinese general in the 6th century. There are many people in Hollywood who claim to have read this book. They haven't read the book, but they all know it's fantastic. Like who? Michael Ovitz, for example. I have no idea who that book. is. Justin Timberlake. Oh, really? R Ryan Felipe. Bees. Ryan Felipe. Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. Know who your enemy is. Isn't like everyone your enemy in Hollywood? I might be your enemy, Amanda. Why? Are I'm you... not saying I am. You cannot defeat me because I know everything you're going to do. What am I going to do now? You're going to go out and get that client, Dave Williamson. Oh, well, that was good. I know everything about you, Amanda. Yeah, you need, not everything, everything about, about you. I really hope not. Maybe it's time to throw that green underwear out. That's all I'm saying. How did you... Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello, sir. Dave Pleasure Williamson. to meet you. Nice to see you. I know who you are. Oh, okay. I know you are. Please have a seat. Yes, sir. Amanda, you go study. Welcome to Big Shot Live. Thank you. Excited to be here. I also like to lean forward on the table. I, yeah. I enjoy leaning back, so this will That's, be good. That means I think that we will have a very good relationship. Mm, like a teeter-totter. This is exactly the type of thing that is in the art of war. Are you familiar with the art of war? Refresh me. Sun Tzu. He wrote a book about military strategy. Nobody's actually read the book. It is fantastic. You're a stand-up comedian, am I, am I not correct? Yes, sir, I am. The crowd is your enemy. Now you've scared me. What kind of comedy do you do? I like doing a lot of personal comedy. I know you're a sales manager. What kind of things do you sell? Cars. A stand-up comedian is a salesman. Would you be interested in a joke? At 0% financing. I'm going to give you a break, and I'm going to tell you where you're going. We're going to meet one of the most world-renowned comedians. Have you heard of Mr. Greg Proops? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. You are going to audition for him, and he's going to analyze where you are comedically. What do you think about that? Oh, man, that's awesome. Every friend is a potential enemy. I think Greg Proops, part of him is going to want to help you, but the other part of him is going to want to keep you down. He might try to play with your head. Okay, is there some sort of signal you're gonna yes. give me? Yes. When I go four fingers like this, okay. it means he's turned into an enemy. Then when I think he switched back to friend, I'll go with two fingers. Aha, here he is. Hey. I can't believe he got through the mobs. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg. How are you, Greg? Dave Williamson. Nice Hi, Dave to Williamson. Hello, Andy Kindler. Andy. How long have you been doing stand-up, Dave? Um, about four years. Okay, and he also is a, sales, he's a sales manager, too, so he has life experience. What kind of sales? Automobile. Oh, oh hey, well then, you're ahead of the game. <laughs> you sell cars for a living? Yeah, correct, yeah. You ought to be able to <laughs> anybody. <laughs> yeah, it helps. Comedy advice is so hard to give. I just, mm -hmm. confidence, I think, is 90% of it. Andy will probably agree with me. It takes a long time to be funny, and I mean, like, funny, funny. Do you want to do it as a living, for a living? Yeah, I would love to get to the point where I could make a living just doing comedy and doing what I love for sure. How close are you now to quitting your job and doing it? Well, I work in a family business, uh -huh. so you know I don't think I'd ever actually quit the job, but I would like to take more time towards the comedy for sure, mm -hmm. with the right opportunities that, to keep going that direction. Cut bait, quit. Fisher cut bait, Yeah. Man. If you're gonna make it your life and your vocation, then you gotta mm -hmm. leave. All right. <laughs> would you like him to do a couple of minutes? Yes, please, if you don't mind cracking off a couple jokes. Oh yeah, sure. I'm growing up now, I'm getting a little bit older, so I decided I needed to do something responsible. So I went out and bought a handgun to protect my family. By the second day, I was like, I have got to shoot somebody with this thing. By the third day, I was leaving my front door wide open with my TV right in front of it. <laughs> I had a trail of electronics going down the street, like iPod, microwave, TiVo. And kids are gullible these days, too. They're so dumbed down. Like just recently, I bought this CD off eBay that's got nothing but ice cream truck music on it. So every day when I drive home from work, I crank it up real loud and I drive really slow. When the kids come running out of their house, I turn it off real quick, like, where did he go? Do it right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I think you, you, it's very good. You have a lot of construction. You seem to have confidence. You're a little shaky on a couple of the lines, but hey, the best way to test it is go out on stage and you'll find out what works right away almost all the time. Well, Dave, now that we've seen your material and uh, I, I know you're ready and uh, knowing that you play clubs and everything, how'd you like to go next door and uh, throw down and do a little set? Uh, I'd love it, man. Right on. Well, let's go see you. Let's go play, man. Awesome, man. We Thank see you. Remember what I said about the art of war. I'm not <laughs> saying the audience is your enemy. That's been my experience. I forgot what you said earlier. Who am I supposed to kill? Please welcome Dave Williamson. <laughs> wow. 
Thank you guys. Thank you. Actually, the um, show that we're filming, you guys see the cameras over here. It's a Where Are They Now show for To Catch a Predator. <laughs> so, things are going pretty good for me. Kids will do weird things these days, too. Like, I saw they camped out for like three days to be the first ones to get Madden 2008, some video game. When I was that age, we got toys the old-fashioned way. We beat the hell out of smaller kids. <laughs> When the kids come running out of their house, I turn it off real quick, like, where did he go? <laughs> I invented my own drinking game in college. You start going through your old high school yearbook. And anybody that wrote, keep in touch, you call them at three in the morning, right? They're all like, hello? You're like, um, Betsy? I just wanted to say that I did stay sweet and I've had several fantastic summers. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you very much. My name's Dave Williamson. I appreciate it, guys. Unbelievable. That was fun, you, man. You, you killed. I was nervous, man. I was nervous, and I came out, and the first mm -hmm. joke went great. I know. But I still wasn't quite calm, and I started thinking, art of war, art of war. And then I swear for a second, you, like, popped up on my shoulder. And right. Actually, I was there at your shoulder. I'm just a very tiny man. Close up the dealership, or you can move the cars out here. Either <laughs> way, bring the family, come to Hollywood and we're gonna make it happen. You, you got ready? It. I'm ready, man. Let's get out of here. Right. Hey everybody, that was our client's big premiere performance on Big Shot Live. To view this video or any of the past episodes, simply click the Talent Winners tab at the top of the main page.